Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm back again with a new video for you all. The water level in the lake continues to drop to new record lows despite the efforts of those who have been working to replenish the lake. The extremely unusual rainstorm that moved across the Las Vegas area was the cause of the flash flooding that occurred in the city. The storm was really unusual. The precipitation that fell on the city, which is situated to the west of Lake Mead and received more than a month's worth of precipitation in only two hours, caused flash floods in the areas that are around it. The city received more than a month's worth of precipitation in just two hours' time. Las Vegas is the most populous city in Nevada, with a population of over 600,000. It's also the most populous city in the United States. Additionally, it is the most populous city in the entire country of the United States. The swift floods caused damage to a number of casinos in the surrounding area, despite the fact that the location is well known for its appeal to tourists. A great number of people are keeping their fingers crossed that some goodwill will come from the tragedy, and they're concerned about the condition of Lake Mead. It's possible that the solution to this riddle will be found hidden amid all of these many options that are still plausible. It is probable that the rain was responsible for a slight elevation in the water level of the lake. However, it is highly doubtful that this will have a significant impact in the long run due to the fact that the water level has only risen by a few centimeters, about two inches. Since the beginning of the year, there has been a reduction of more than 25 feet in the level of the lake. Although it might not appear like much at first glance, the level of the lake has dropped by more than 25 feet. This increase is not sufficient. The current depth of the lake is 1,040 feet, and the newly added water will quickly evaporate, which indicates that it's exceedingly doubtful that it'll have much of an effect on the situation. In order for there to be a perceptible increase in the water level of the lake, it would be necessary for there to be a considerable amount of rain that fell over a protracted period of time. On the other hand, considering that the southwestern region is currently immersed in a drought that has lasted for the past 22 years, it appears that the scenario will almost certainly never come to pass, despite the fact that the rain had no bearing on the outcome. Even still, the fact that there has been any apparent rise in lake level is cause enough to throw a party and celebrate its accomplishment is cause enough to celebrate its accomplishment. Due to the extended drought that has affected the southwestern region of the United States, the state of the Colorado River is the single most crucial element in determining whether or not Lake Mead will be able to recover. The water that's stored in the reservoirs comes from the river in excess of 90% of the time. At this time, we would be thankful for any amount of precipitation, regardless of how minor it may be. If you haven't already done so, please follow the instructions at this link to sign up for our newsletter. If you haven't done so before, I kindly ask you to do so now. Lake Mead has increased in height by 2 feet 8 inches over the course of the past 26 days. Before it, the water level in Lake Mead had been steadily falling over a period of 6 months before to this event. According to the data, the amount of water that is present in Lake Mead has increased by a daily average of 0.8 inches over the course of the last 26 days. This equates to a cumulative height of 32.88 inches until this point. The elevation of the water level at Lake Mead was 1,043.45 feet above the mean lake level as of the 22nd of August. According to estimates provided by the Bureau of Reclamation, in order to raise the water level by one inch at the lake's current depth, an extra 68,000 acre feet of water will be required. Approximately 326,000 gallons can be equated to one acre foot. This indicates that around 176,800 additional acre feet of water have been added to Lake Mead over the course of the previous 26 days. The lake has received around 58 billion gallons of additional water ever since its discovery. As a consequence of this, the increase in the water level of Lake Mead can be attributed to both the increase in rainfall and the decrease in demand for water. This, however, is not something that can be maintained indefinitely due to the fact that the vast majority of the water in the basin of the Colorado River, which includes Lake Mead, is derived from the snow that melts in the Colorado Rockies, and the monsoon season is expected to come to an end within the next month. So that's all for today, folks. I hope you liked today's video and found it informative. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe, and turn your notifications on to comment about what kind of videos you would like to see next. I'll see you all in the next one. Be safe and adios.